which defines the result for our case study. The architecture basically explains the convolutional layers, pooling layers, activation functions, normalizations, fully connected layers, and output. Then Fidos will take over the baton to walk through the forward modeling framework, code algorithms, and application deployment. We adopted this from the paper written by Jill Levy and Tal Hesner. This has also inspired us to build a better algorithm to detect age and gender in future with faster computation time and accurate detections. So I'll start with the problem statement. As we know, age and gender detection becomes emerging in real-world applications such as it used in security control, forensic entertainment and many others. For, for example, there are restrictions or age limitations that were used to control the contents of the watch media. So that would be one of the reasons why we need this kind of detections. So basically, there are three objectives that we want to focus on. The first one is to classify the age group uh, in your range and gender of people based on the face image. The second one is to develop the age and gender uh, recognition architecture. And the last one is to analyze the performance and accuracy of the proper system. So the network is trained from scratch without using any data outside of the image and the labels available by the audience data set. For data set uh, preparation, the face image was taken from the audience data set. It contains uh, roughly 20k image with 2,284 subjects. The files contain face image with its corresponding labels. Uh, for data set augmentation, we take a random crop of 227 by 227 pixel from 256 by 256 input image and randomly mirror it in each forward backward training pass. And for the extracting labels, the target values are represented in binary vectors corresponding to the ground truth classes. Uh, there are two classes for gender and eight classes for the age group containing one in the index of ground truth and zero. So we use um, webcam to capture the real data from our surrounding. Then we pass the live, live stream to Java CV where you grab a frame of the live stream and pass it to the Har Cascade classifier. Uh, the image that was scrapped uh, are detected and localized using the detect multi scale method found in the Cascade classifier class where it returns a list of rectangles containing information of the position of the face and the size of the rectangles. We then use this information to create the bounding boxes for the faces, the image is then passed into the CNN model to create, to create classification of the faces according to the age and gender. This is where the face classification happened. The final output of the model will show a bounding box of the face and label for the faces, which, uh, which is the gender and age category. So first, if we grab the frame and pass for detection, and then it will do the face detection and the localization and then it will call the CNN model to classify the class. The app will be table and the bounding box. Uh, yeah, so the application deployment will be something like this with a bounding box with and the uh, gender category and the uh, age. And now I will pass it to Lai. This capstone would like to conclude that we need to construct a better algorithms for faster computation time and accuracy in detection. This was true hard cascade shown to be very fast and capable of running in real time on embedded devices. But the problem is that they are less accurate and highly prone to false positive detections. Polo version 3 network happens to be a better deep learning model in the field of object recognition. Compared with the deep learning network based on region proposal, the YOLO network transforms the detection problem into a regression problem. It's breaking into a wide scope of enterprises with use cases extending from individual security to efficiency in the working environment. Object detection is applied to numerous territories of image processing including picture retrieval, security, observation, computerized vehicle systems, and machine investigations. 
Throughout this project, we have made several references on technical papers and authority in such subject. Uh, we are grateful for the hard work and great research in the community, and we vastly benefited from this. Um, next slide. So to wind down this presentation, I'd like to thank the team who were tirelessly throughout the tenure of grueling nights to complete this capstone despite the short lead time and heavy schedule of this course. There are a few parties we'd like to acknowledge throughout our learning journey. Firstly, our beloved Mr. Kana Savaranam, who endlessly making sure we understand the class, even though we don't most of the time. <laughs> Thank you in trying to make us a full-fledged deep learning engineer. And uh, SkyMind for the intensive course materials and the placements once successfully passed the certification exam. Also, collaboration of CARECOM and HRDF in making our training not just a dream, but a goal. Beyond four, in providing conducive learning environment and nice refreshment. Oh, thank you, folks. And our project is powered by this uh, IntelliJ, Java, AMD Ryzen, and NVIDIA. Thank you very much. <laughs>